Welcome back to the DIY series with me, Seabur. We are in Chellington Valley on our farm, Autumnwood Farm. Um, priority today is to get milk for calves. Now, I've had to do a few little um, adjustments and things, but I'll explain it as we go along. So the first thing I did was I took out those bales, those old rotten bales that we were talking about. They're gone. And I put in that little uh, rail there. I did that with the Giants editor uh, and I've changed our gates around like I said I was going to do just to um, just to help us out really now they go into the wall but there isn't much I can do about that unless I do lots of readjustments and things but yeah it's uh, it's done so that is done um, what we're going to do is we need to sort out the milk for the calves now we can't get milk as I remembered when I when we were doing it last week I was thinking to myself I just get the milk off the cows because they would have produced it but I forgot that I'm running seasons so that in itself causes an issue for us because the cows won't produce any milk until they have given birth which isn't going to be for another uh, six months I think I'm not sure I need to double check uh, but yes that is the situation there so whilst we're at it we'll just do this they're gonna need mucking out but we're not gonna do that today so we'll just top up the straw uh, we'll drop this off and then we'll go straight down to the dealership we'll buy ourselves a little milk tanker and I've set up uh, a little system so that we can get milk for our calves which is obviously priority because we don't want any dying not at all so we'll take the Massey because it just seems the most sensible option and she's all clean now, all service now, needs diesel um, I may do that whilst we're down here actually we, I think we can get diesel from our own yard now on this game so yeah anyway um, I'm going to plough up one of our fields and we need to get the silage bales in and we need to offload the bales off of the bale car, I thought there was a car coming in um, we've got a lot of things to do we need to get a, a fertilizer spreader or a sprayer so we can fertilize our crops um, I'm considering buying another field to go with the two that we've already bought but I, I don't know if that's um, an essential thing and I can always leave it until the field is almost right when we buy it to move on but yeah we need to do this first anyway so let's get to the dealership so here we are at the shop we need to go into animals and I downloaded this three point tanker, um, 1,500 pounds. I think it's gonna be perfect for what we need. It holds 2,000 liters. Um, we'll buy it new. First thing that we've bought for the farm new, I believe. So that is bought. Oh, I need to get rid of that as well. I will do that another time. So let's get that on. And what I've done is I have installed a tanker down at one of the selling points in the village. And I filled it up with milk. And we're going to go and buy 
milk from there. So I'm going to do it all. This is, this is not part of the map. So do not try and do what I'm about to do because it is not part of the map. It's something that I've added. You can download the mod for the tanker. You can fill it up yourself and you can do exactly what I do. But don't go to this shop thinking that you can buy milk from it because you can't. Just so you know. So we put it in the shop just here in the village. And I filled it with milk. So there's the tanker. So we're going to back up to it. And then we're going to fill up with milk. And that will give us 2,000 litres. In a minute or two, when it's uh, finally done what it's doing. And there we go, it has taken 2,593 whole English pounds for all of that milk now I have done that with a mod uh, but I want to try and keep it as realistic as possible I don't want to just give myself free milk so that is what I've done but I've, uh, I've done it in such a way that it looks like we've done it properly a little bit like how Dagoin does his survival role plays but yeah it just it just makes it feel a bit more real and the whole point of this game, this series, is to try and play it more realistically than the other ones that I've done. Obviously Little Norton was relatively realistic. Um, this, is, this can be only as realistic as the game will allow you to do it. But that's, that's just how it is. So we'll get this milk back to the yard and we will feed our calves. Okay, let's get this milk to our babies. I presume that we're just going to back up to them like this. Yep. And I'm guessing they're going to take it all. Nice. I see we've got some manure in there. They haven't taken it all, so that's pretty good. So let's put this away safe. Uh, yeah, we'll put it there, I think. Excellent. Oh, I need to drop it down. Okay, next job. I think we need to decide which field it's going to be that is going to be ploughed up. You guys okay? You look beautiful. A little bit of manure in there. Look, so let's quickly check. So the big cows could do with some hay maybe um, they've got straw they've got water the cleanliness is 57 so we could deal with that um, but I think all in all they're going to be okay for today the calves got everything they need their health is hopefully going to start going up and doing what they do so I think uh, logically um, the sensible thing would be to plow up this field and probably if it will allow us I'm not sure if it will we'll have a worker do that whilst we get the silage bales in I think that's the I think 
that is going to be the sensible thing to do. <coughs> so we're open up this gate. I'm going to take the case off of this trailer. I need to remember where I put the weight for it as well. This tractor sounds nuts. I love it. So where did I leave the weight? In there. Excellent. Put you on. And lift you up. We want the plow. I'm going to do this from inside because it's easier. Lift you up. Hopefully we can come out without... Oh, no, we're not going to hit that. Up. Totally going to hit that. Have to go out that way. Wouldn't have been able to do that with those gates being silly. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Okay. So we'll go in here and we'll attempt to hire a worker for it. If not, then obviously we'll begin doing it ourselves. Let's, uh, let's see which way... How are we fixed for direction? Excellent, so we can get the worker doing that for us. We'll just leave him to it. And we'll go back, we'll get the JCB, and we'll pull in those bales. Who do you think will finish first? I'm pretty sure I'll probably finish first. Bring in those bales in. But, uh... Yeah. So we'll get JCB on the case, on the case, on the situation of the signage bales. I'll try and do it outside. I know I always do it from inside, and that's be, that's because I find it so much easier to do. But I will try and do it on outside view. That doesn't come back very much, does it? That's better. So I think probably our best bet is to jump into a time lapse. This is going to be a lengthy process and doesn't look like it's going to want to do four very happily. Now what did that collide with? Oh, there's a collision for where those bales were, of course. Why, why, would, why wouldn't it be 
They need to be easy. Right. Well. Here we go. There we have it. They are the last ones in there. And I've tried to put them up as close as I can to that um, invisible wall that we have. I will remove that. Oh yeah, I want to service this because it's so slow down at the hills. I can't stand not being in it. It's horrible. <laughs> I wanted to try and do something a little bit different for you so that it doesn't always the wasn't always the same. And actually you can go straight back in there, can't you? For now. Until I decide that I'm going to need you for something else. So let's see how uh, Baldrick is getting on with our field ploughing, very slowly, very slowly indeed, but pretty neatly actually. So we will leave him to it and what we're going to do is we're going to get, uh, what are we going to get? No babies. We're going to go down the shop and we're going to get uh, a drill and a fertilizer spreader as well. Hmm, this sounds like it requires an awful no. We'll get the drill because we can spread after or spray. Uh, so I downloaded a drill which I have not used yet. Um, as you may have noticed, I'm I favour the the Varda stat stuff. I should have just pulled out in front of him, shouldn't I? I favour the Varda stat stuff just because I like it. It's good looking equipment, and it's a good name. It's a good brand name. But I've downloaded a Sulky, which is on the Mod Hub, and I quite fancied it. So yeah, that was uh, that was my plan from there. So as we go, I think what we'll do is, whilst we're doing this, we'll take a little peruse up here, maybe. Because as you know, I like to explore the map as we play the game. I don't I don't like doing map tours and things. But I like to have a look and see what we've got going on around us. So we've got a row of houses there. I don't think we're gonna go all the way down there. We'll go down this way first. I think there's a farm up there. 
certainly a yard there and a yard up there but yeah this this comes down to the roundabout uh, and to the back of the village I think yeah what is that there is that like a river or a canal complete sportive Interesting. What have we got here? Another cell point. Oh, and this comes down into the village, opposite the park. No, we've not been here before, have we? Oh, there's the roundabout. So this goes out of the village again. Okay. Let's turn around then. Go back into Chellington. Oh, jumpy. <laughs> so what is that? Oh, it is a canal. Beautiful. Or a river. One or the other. Oh, look at that big crane. What's down there then? That's another part of the village. There's lots of little trinkets here. Lots of little things to go and see and do. Lots of cell points and things. You know, the perfect map for role playing on, for sure. I should really be doing this on the outside, shouldn't I? <clears throat> so. And this is the main road that we normally come up and down. And we've got some sounds here where you've got car sounds and normal street sounds that you can hear. And, uh, skidding and things. Don't want a speed ticket. Uh, yeah, so there, yeah, that was a, a little tour of that area. So we'll get this sulky, um, and then I think the next process will be for next week, and we will come down with the JCB and and the uh, and the trailer. That's going to be in the way. Need to remember where things spawn on this. So, where is it? I can't remember what it comes under. Cedars, there we go. And there it is. Now it's not it's not massive, but then we don't want massive. We've got small fields. But I I was I was really taken with this. Now it's uh, forty eight thousand what can we change? Oh, I don't think I like that. Let's go back to the original. There you go. So what can it do? Can we put um, cedar with cedar planter? Um, fertilizer and seeds and all of that it's a combi power pod so it's got cultivator on it as well six miles an hour at operating speed 160 horsepower we're good for all that 2000 liters of seed and then it would appear that it does an awful lot of things which is good news no previous cultivating or plowing necessary. Oh, we could have... Well, actually, no, because it needed plowing anyway. Okay. So that is the one. The uh, Sulky Progress uh, P100. Should I buy it new? What's the price if we buy it second hand? 32. Let's buy it new. Let's be... Let's be adventurous. 
So we could buy some seed and fertilizer. That is the wrong button, Zebra. And we'll fill it up. We'll fill it up whilst we're here. So what have I got installed? Oh no, nothing there. Um pallets. Have I got any mods installed? Bayonet. I do. That's pig feed. That's cow. That's cow feed. Interesting. I don't have any. Uh... I didn't install any seed mods. Okay, well, we want one of them. I'm not sure how much fertilizer this machine holds, but I think one will do because it uses less fertilizer to its. I don't know if that's right or not. If not, it doesn't matter. We can always pick up. Pick up when we come back. Now I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? That'll do. <laughs> that was weird. Nope, not close enough. We are now. Uh, so, lift it up. She just about manages it. So, we'll fill it up with the fertilizer, which it doesn't hold exactly a thousand on the fertilizer, it holds 800. So, we'll have to pick that up when we come back with the JCB and trailer in the next episode. And it's going to be the same with this, isn't it? Nearly. Okay, so the 2000 capacity is split between fertilizer and wheat. Just so we know. Oh, we want to close the lid. No, we don't want to do none of that. Oh, what is it closing with? N. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so I will get this back to the yard then. Ready for it to be put into our field. Right. I don't know if uh, the Massey is going to be man enough to operate this machine or not. But I think we'll give it a go. I think we'll give it a go. I was going to tidy up where Baldrick had been. But I don't think it's going to be too essential. To be fair. And the fact that this thing will also lay it down if it hasn't been ploughed it doesn't actually care from what I understand so I didn't want to put boats in that was a silly mistake wasn't it We want to change that. Uh, what do we want to put in? What can we put in? Grass. Cuttable hedge. No. Linseed. Interesting. Rye. Critical. 
spelt, pasture grass, spelt, post grass, spelt, field, alfalfa. Hmm. That might be an option for the cows, clover. Let's put, I like clover. Oh, I can't decide now. We've got oats in both our fields that we bought. So I'm thinking we could do half and half, couldn't we? We could do alfalfa down half of the field and clover. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Down you go. Yeah, she's going to struggle a bit. She's going to get a bit slippy on the hill, so I don't think that we're going to manage it with the Massey. But we'll just we'll persevere until the case is free. I think we'll try and keep it square rather than going off. Yeah, she's not going to make it up there. Okay. Oh, she's struggling. Right, let's um, let's just do a few little passes whilst we're waiting for the case. So, if you've been a long-standing subscriber to the channel, um, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. But, just in case you didn't know, and um, I'm quite sure that many of you probably won't know, it's actually been a year since I started the channel. I started the channel back in February 2020. I released my first video in March and my first video was a down on the farm video. And tomorrow being Saturday and when I release my down on the farm videos we've got a special. We've got a down on the farm special to celebrate the anniversary of the channel and down on the farm one year standing I've got various other things planned for next week as we go on into it all but obviously I don't want to give too much away I want to keep a lot of it as surprises or as much of a surprise as I can but yes um, this Massey is not cut out for this job at all <laughs> I think we'll get down we'll get down to the bottom here and we'll um, We'll scrap this plan. We'll drop the sulky off. And we'll take the Massey back. To the yard. I think. So yeah, basically, as a massive thank you, I've got a lot of different videos and things. Well, not a lot of different videos. I've got... I've got videos planned. And um, you're just going to have to wait and see what they are before they happen. So I think 
we'll let Baldrick get to the end of this line and then I will take up the reins and finish it off and it does that. Right, what we got? Right. Should have left Baldrick doing it. <laughs> Is it? That is its only drawback, this tractor, is its windscreen. But I do love it. I do love it very, very much. So I think what I'll do is, because this is going to be a lengthy process, is I will time lapse this and then that will be that for this video. So, we're nearly at the end of it, I hope it hasn't been too traumatic for you, I've thoroughly enjoyed it, because I find it quite therapeutic, it's actually a bit like, um, a bit like Moem, I absolutely love topping, in real life, absolutely love it, and It's just up and down in a field, all roundy roundy, 
depending on what you're actually doing. But yeah, uh, I just really enjoy it. I find it very therapeutic, very relaxing. And um, it's the same with this. In game, I like it for exactly the same reasons. But we're nearly there. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it up to the drill to clean up the ends, to square them off and everything. I know it's not overly realistic, but I think it's our better option. Rasper will be here for hours on end, and this is the last thing you want to watch. No matter how much I enjoy doing it. Um, so yes, I think next week's episode is going to be cracking on with putting in, I think it was Clover we started with, or was it Alfalfa? And I think we'll try and aim for doing half field, half a field. One half and one, one half and the other. Uh, just because, yeah, well, just because we can, to be fair. So let's let's see how we are doing. We're not doing too badly. Not doing too badly at all. That bit. Oh, that's the wrong one again, Zebra. Why do you keep doing it? Here we go. Right. What we could do is we could do this. just make this end off as we go out to the end of the field just to tidy it up a little bit lift her up there drop it down there I've got a little bit gung-ho there with the plow went a bit too close to the hedge but that'll be fine And actually, I didn't do any of these striker bits, that was all boulder. So you did a good job there. You did a pant job, pants job here. How far does it go back? It goes back to there. bit curvy to be fair I think that kind of curve you could just about get away with it if you tried to turn a corner with it you would break everything in half yeah, yeah let's tidy this end up and then the other end we can do with the drill can't we once it's done it's done There was a little strip that I missed up there, but that'll be fine anyway. That little bit there, I'll be fine. And I think that will do us. Just about. We're going to have some trouble in a, in a few areas. But yeah. I think that's a, a good day's worth of work. So um, next week, um, timetables are changing. 
videos will be released at six o'clock in the evening um, GMT British Standard Time um, except for down on the farm so down on the farm will remain at 1030 every morning a.m. Uh, but my videos will be six o'clock um, UK time p.m. from now on and we will have two episodes of DIY farming simulator here on autumn wood so we will have an episode on Fridays and we will have an episode on Wednesdays that's starting from next week so thanks for watching everybody stay safe and may the weather be with you